Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we're going to be doing kind of a mini holiday get ready with me using a couple of the things that I picked up on Cyber Monday. Now, I know that I had done a video about all of the kind of sneaks regarding what was coming for Ulta and for Sephora for Black Friday and I was really good. I didn't, well I take that back. I did buy one thing from Sephora that I don't have with me because it's downstairs in my purse, but I did buy a Givenchy lipstick that was on sale, and I have no regrets because it's gorgeous and I love it. I will, if the photo is still up on Sephora, I will make sure that I do go ahead and pop that in right there for you. I'm sure you'll see it in videos in the future, but it's beautiful. Anyway, but I did on Cyber Monday pick up a couple of things from Ulta. So I had planned on being good and, you know, not really buying a whole lot because I am in the process of doing a full inventory of all of the makeup products that I own and it's horrifying. Stay tuned for that. So I tried really hard to be good, but there were a couple of things that really had caught my eye. And one of them that I'm probably the most excited about is this right here. This is Poison Garden from Nabla Cosmetics. So this has been on my loves list since Nabla came to Ulta. And on Cyber Monday, they were like 30% off or something like that. And so I did go ahead and pull the trigger and pick up Poison Garden. And again, no regrets. <laughs> So we are going to be putting this all over my eyes today, but it is a beautiful mixture of just really nice mattes and shimmers. I have not swatched any of this yet. I waited for you guys because I am a good YouTuber. Well, no, we all know the truth to that statement. <laughs> But I am very excited to test out this formula, play with it, put it on my eyes. I have heard nothing but fantastic things about the Nabla eyeshadow formula. And so I am very, very excited to have picked up this guy here. I did also pick up this from Urban Decay. I don't know why, but as soon as they sneaked this on the Ulta website, I really wanted it. And I don't really know why. It's a six pan eyeshadow palette for $29. It was not on sale, but it looks like this. It's just a cute little tiny package. And then it has six basically glitter toppers. So I might kind of play around with this a little bit, see how the look goes, whether or not I want to top this. That was the back. <laughs> top it with this or not. Regardless, you'll see this in videos upcoming in the future of that I'm quite sure. And then the last thing that I picked up, and again, don't know why I have just been coveting this. It's very strange. This is the Vitamin C Dot Beauty Blue Sea Kale Grapefruit Deep Pore Exfoliating Face Mask. This, I've just been wanting it for a while. And again, I have a lot of masks. I have no idea what it is about this one that had me so intrigued. But I did, and I bought it, and it smells really interesting. You definitely get the grapefruit, that kind of bitter citrus, but you can tell that it's got other stuff in there. It doesn't smell bad by any means. I haven't used it yet, but I will probably use this in the coming weeks, I would expect, and I'll let you know what I think of it. Now, the box was so big because I d it did come with a gift with purchase, so that took up the majority of that massive box, and it just has a whole bunch of crap that I don't need. Lots of samples, lots of stuff. So there's that, but again, I feel like I did better this year than I've done in years past. So for that reason, I do count a little bit of a win. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. I have already done all of the rest of my makeup, all of my face, and we're just gonna play with the eyes. So let me get you zoomed in and set up and we will get started. All right, so I've got my hair pulled back, as you can probably see. I've actually done something with it. So that means I'm going to a party tonight. <laughs> a girlfriend of mine does a holiday party every year and it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's potluck style, so it's not anything like super duper fancy. So I'm not gonna go over the top with my makeup, but I am very, very excited to be using this guy right here. It was very hard not to break this out the moment it came in the mail. Although, 
Side note, this took forever to get here. Forever. I ordered it on Cyber Monday. It did not ship until the following Saturday. No. Saturday? Saturday. Yes. And then I received it that following Friday. So, wow. <laughs> so, okay. I think I'm going to go a little bit rosy. And I think I'm going to put Zen all in the crease. And then Rosita all over the lid. But I do want to use this amazing pop of color right here. This uh, is called Berry Bite. I think I'm going to put that all over the outer V. And then if I need to deepen it up at all, we'll go in with Opera. But we'll kind of see how it goes and kind of what what life the look takes on because as we all know very often looks just sort of do their own thing as per usual my brushes are a mess and i need to clean them but i am not that good at life let's be honest let's be honest so what has been going on with you guys Ooh, that is pigmented honey okay i just tap into my makeup so let's see if i can do this without blinding you real quick so when i go in i honestly just sort of tap this is a very very fluffy brush and that is the shadow that came off with it so that is really cool okay and it isn't like sticking down heavy in one place and not blending out or anything like that it is blending out really really nicely so far, first shade in, I'm happy with this particular shade. I think it's going on quite nicely. Anyway, so what has been going on with you guys? I can't lie, life has been crazy for me. Yes, crazy eyes went along with it because, man, oh my gosh, end of year is not usually supposed to be this crazy, but my work schedule is absurd, absurd. Usually it's slowing down, but my gosh, it has been very, very busy. And I'm not going to lie, I am not loving that. <laughs> I was really hoping for a little bit of a quiet sort of end of year, and that's not what I've been getting. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to go in with Rosita, this beautiful metallic sort of soft pink all over the lid but it also doesn't help anything that everyone in my house including myself is sick my poor baby is on antibiotics my husband is on medication i can't take anything so i am just suffering through life but on top of all of the crazy work stuff being sick and having a sick baby on top of it and for any of you out there who know, most men are not very good at being sick, and my husband is no exception. So it's been definitely a little bit kind of crazy here on this side. But my parents drove through town, and that was very exciting. I don't really get to see them much because they still live in Texas, and I'm here in the Carolinas. And I don't make it down there enough. They don't make it up here enough. It's, you know, just how things go I guess but they drove through town on their way to go visit my brother because he and his wife just had their very first baby it's very exciting so we're all super duper thrilled for them but it was really nice to be able to get to spend just a little bit of time with my parents unfortunately it was midweek so I didn't get to spend nearly enough time just because I couldn't afford to take time off of work so that was kind of a bummer, but it was really, really good to see them, which is always nice. All right, so this color is definitely very, very light, but it's really pretty. It puts a very nice sheen to the lids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I think, a small brush because I don't want this to get too out of control on me. So let's go in with what has been lately one of my very favorite brushes. One that I'll probably pick up a couple more of because I find that it's just so, so helpful. Um, well, this is not the one I was thinking of, but this is very similar. This is by Suva Beauty. I bought a pack of Suva Beauty brushes off of Hope Look. 
and I really, really like them. But this is just a very small kind of fluffy um, detail brush that helps me kind of lay color down and buff it out in the outer corner without getting too big and crazy because like I said, I've already got my face makeup on and I don't want to have to do a ton, a ton of cleanup. But I don't really know where to buy Suva Beauty. Ooh, that color's pretty. So if you know, tell me. Although, to be fair, I haven't done a ton of my own research because I would expect that they would have a website. But I know Suva Beauty is big in other countries. I just don't see a lot of people talking about it here in the States. That's pretty. That's very pretty. I'll probably go back over it a little bit with that shimmer shade just to kind of blend the two together. But I really like that. Yeah. But yeah, so the end of the year has been super crazy from a work perspective and I don't see it dying down much. Oh, it's just such a bummer. And um, I am backing up one of my colleagues who is about to be leaving for Japan for two weeks, which I'm very excited for her, but I have so much of my own stuff going on. Adding all of hers on top of it doesn't sound like a lot of fun, <laughs> to be very, very selfish and honest. Um, but it'll be good. Her husband is in the military, and so they're meeting in Japan because he gets a little bit of leave for the holidays. So it's really, really great. I'm just looking at everything that's going on and going, oh, 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 oh. all right. So I am just taking that shimmer shade and kind of blending it on top of that amazing sort of fuchsia color just to kind of blend everybody together and help everyone to play nicely. And I really like the way that that looks. Okay, so I'm gonna take that very first brush that I used in the crease. I'm not gonna put any product on it, but I am just gonna kind of blend everybody together. Maybe I'll put just a little bit more product on there. Make sure that my crease is nicely defined since I do have hooded lids and sometimes that can get a little bit lost. Yep. And I am going to continue using the same fluffy brush and I'm going to go ahead and buff it out underneath my lash line using Zen, that same color that we've been using in the crease. Blend out a little bit of those corners as well so that I don't have to clean up too much. And I think that I am going to maybe use a little bit of that Urban Decay palette. Add a little bit more because why can I never just stop? I'm probably going to be the most made up person at that party tonight, but it's going to look good. Okay, so I did just buff a little bit. I don't typically do a heavy bottom lash line, so just buffing a little bit of that Zen in there I think for me is enough. But I do think I want to go in with this beauty here. Which color should I use? Sorry, I don't want to... We've got Sugar High, which is a very soft kind of bubblegum pink, I think would go well. But then we also have Long Night, which is a little bit deeper. Hmm, I'm kind of feeling Long Night. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Can I just use this without? Yeah, I can just use this mirror here. No, I'm going to go with Sugar High. I don't want to break the look. Oof. And I'm just patting that on top. Yeah, I think that was a good choice. Patting that on top with just my finger. For all of that sparkly, glimmery goodness. Yeah. 
Yeah. So are you guys going to any holiday parties? You got any big plans for the holidays? Who's traveling? Who's staying home? What does everybody have going on? I would love to know. I think that's really pretty. I think that added just what I was looking for to this look and I like it. Okay, so I think the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush because I have no control when I use my fingers it seems like and I got a little bit of that sparkle on my lower lash line. I kinda wanna get rid of that. So we'll do this. All right, and then let's really gild the lily here. Where's my little bitty brush? We're going to take Adoration, which is this. How am I going to do this? Oh, my gosh. Ashley, work your hands. This bright, shimmery white right here. I'm going to use that in the inner corner. We're going to see what that looks like. Yeah. And uh, probably the brow bone as well. But you strike me as something that may be a duochrome. Oh, and you are. Ooh, that is like a violet. Like a very pinky violet sort of duochrome in the center of my inner corner and it looks really really fun yes 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 do I put some here why not I'm just putting on the tiniest amount to my brow bone because it is that duochrome shine that I don't want to go over the top with but Let's go ahead and I'm gonna hop off camera real quick, apply a whole bunch of mascara. I don't think I'm gonna do eyeliner because I really like the way that this looks, but definitely a lot of mascara, probably apply a lip, and then we'll come back for the final look. All right, so here we have the final look. I just wanted to go simple on the lips, so all I did was apply some of my Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Back Talk. And I think that that kind of dusty, plummy sort of color really complements the eyes without clashing or overpowering. And I really like the way that this look turned out. It is definitely very fun without being excessively over the top. So honestly, I know I've only used it the one time and this is a first impression, but I'm very excited to be getting use out of this palette in 2020 um, because I think that this look came out just beautifully, just beautifully. I think that the three shades that I used from this palette, all three performed really, really beautifully. And if they are any indication as to the quality of the rest of this palette, it is definitely a win. Um, additionally, I did use one shade out of this Party Favor palette and I think it added that perfect festive shimmer and shine to the look. Now with that being said, I have no idea how they will wear throughout the course of the evening. I don't have large concerns over the Nabla Cosmetics palette, but the Urban Decay one, I don't know if this glimmer will fall all over my face throughout the rest of the night. So I will try to remember to put in the description box how that worked, but you can always add a glitter glue. That's typically what I would do in this situation. I just wasn't prepared, so that's my fault, but I think it turned out really, really beautifully. So, so yeah, so those are the things, with the exception of the face mask, which it's not that kind of video, um, that I bought over Cyber Monday from Ulta. I hope that you are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I will see you next time. Bye.